In the beginning, I set out to make this movie that was really about this community on the autism spectrum. And then I just fell in love with them. And I fell in love with these three girls, and I fell in love with the community, and, and it became about them. What makes me the happiest in this movie is that what it shows is that there are many, many, many different ways to be a person. I want you, as best you can, to express how you're feeling about the spring formal. No, just a, just a... So who wants to go first? Who wants to go? Oh, last. I... Yeah, you want to go last? <laughs> Do you want to go last? OK, so who wants to go second last? OK, Sarah, who wants to go third last? OK, who wants to go fourth last? Drew, OK, you can be fifth last. Who wants to go sixth last? You do? Okay, then you're seventh last. That means you're first. I'm Alexandra Shiva. I'm the director of How to Dance in Ohio. It is premiering in the U.S. Documentary Competition at 2015 Sundance Film Festival. How to Dance in Ohio is about a group of people in Columbus who are on the autism spectrum who are preparing with their psychologist for a, for a prom, for a spring formal. And they are figuring out all of the different things that go into how do you connect with someone and why do you connect with someone and it's really, really challenging for them. And so we're learning about what coming of age looks like for them, but through the lens of this universally difficult experience, which is your first dance, your first date. In searching for a way to tell it that was relatable, I found this group of people in Columbus who were working with their psychologist. His whole idea was if you're gonna teach social cues, you better make it fun. And he was gonna spend months preparing them for the prom and he allowed us to come and film. And I, I knew that that was really the best way to tell the story. There's an invisibility, I think, about um, having challenges that not everyone has and having, and having managed them for many, many, many years. There's no one who hasn't had some of the anxieties, the difficulties that that these young people have. And there's something about watching a group of people who, for whom it is so much more difficult than it would be for a typical person, overcome those challenges that is inspiring. It's inspiring. It, it, I think it makes you realize anything's possible.